What's up guys and welcome back to another video by one of the greatest Call of Duty YouTubers ever, Knockbomb. No, I'm kidding, but uh, if you guys have not seen the new trailer for the World War 2 from the Game Informer, I think that's the, what their uh, YouTube channel is. If you have not seen it, go check it out right now. You can see the new trailer. I'm pretty sure all of you guys probably seen it. You guys are like, what the hell, dude? These are old news, man. We all saw this like yesterday or whatever because it did come out yesterday and that's where I got my thumbnail from and I feel like that it does look like headquarters, right? Right? uh it's not like a hundred percent confirmed they just they say that that's the cover or whatever but that does look like headquarters like come on it looks exactly the same as in the the one first leak that we got where it kind of like came out from the uh on top of the mountain and kind of overlooked this big area where everybody was running around and as we all know the headquarters is going to be a new thing for call of duty we've never had anything like that in call of duty never before not even like any any call of duty basically we never had that the only thing that we had is the firing range which is returning which is pretty cool i i mean not a big deal it's not like a game changer or whatever but that's a cool, cool feature to have like that's what call of duty should be going towards they should be adding like small cool features like that even if some people are not gonna use it it's always cool to have stuff like that you know like like headquarters and like like the firing range like headquarters is gonna be pretty pretty interesting i'm really curious about what they're gonna do and that's what we're gonna be mainly talking about and just throwing ideas out there you know some of you guys probably know more of that because you guys have experienced that with other video games because other games have that a lot like i heard like destiny has that and it's called like the tower or something i don't know man i probably sound like a noob talking about stuff that nah, i have no idea about so if you guys are more aware like have more knowledge about this kind of stuff let me know in the comments if you guys have ideas what you think it's gonna be here also let me know but we all know one thing that there's gonna be like a fight pit like a 1v1 pit which i'm really curious about i'm kind of it says a pit so if it's a 1v1 i wonder if it's gonna be like the face off thing like from model fear 3 you know you go on the map and it's just 1v1 a person you guys can go snipers or in the chat you, you, before you start the game you can tell each other whatever you guys are gonna be using like hey let's quick scope and whatever and they'll be like okay or if they want to use regular guns you use regular guns so i'm kind of interested in what's gonna happen with that kind of like new thing you know it's a new feature i'm really excited about it because i've never experienced that thing ever because i don't play many video games i do play video games but i have not played the video games that had a feature similar to that and also a lot of people are kind of specul speculating yeah that there's gonna be like uh skin trading like you can go in there and like trade with people so i feel like it it is true i feel like that's something like that is gonna happen because come on like sledgehammer is known for the dlc stuff and like cosmetics and stuff like that so we might have a lot of like custom customization options and all this stuff like camos your body your helmet your weapon attachments maybe even who knows and probably the headquarters is going to be a perfect place where you want to trade your stuff maybe you got a duplicate of something like can you imagine how nice it will be actually will be worth getting like duplicates because i'm pretty sure you guys are tired sometimes of getting some duplicate stuff from supply drops and instead of like burning them or getting like keys and stuff like that you can actually keep like a good duplicate at least once for like at least keep it and go trade it for something really good like maybe somebody has other good duplicate that you don't have and trade it for that you know what i mean it's like i feel like it would be a really cool trading system especially to do it with your friends i feel like that would be really fun really like a new thing added to call of duty like that's what i'm saying like and i'll keep saying this call of duty needs like small new features like that to make it feel new because honestly i have no idea what else can a call of duty game have to make this game feel new like all they can do just go back and forth in time have different map weapons different maps different mechanics like that's kind of gonna run out soon you know they're not gonna have any more times to jump back and forth into like what else are they gonna go to freaking came in we're gonna be throwing spears at each other running out with bow and arrows like throwing rocks <laughs> i don't know man but you know what i'm saying because they have to add small features like this like i would not even mind if some one year they'd be like hey we're gonna keep this one call of duty for two years but what we're gonna do we're just gonna load you guys up with a whole bunch of maps whole bunch of weapons whole bunch of blah 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 whatever you know like and make the game still feel like new with adding new stuff in there like like for example oh what's that game like gta for example it's not a best example but gta is gonna be out for another couple of years and it's been out for a couple of years already and how they keep it new how the game is still popular because they're always always adding stuff to new cars like new missions like pretty cool customizations like where they can people customize their own races and everything like when i first started playing gta online like it never it did not have all the cool features that it has right now like there's so many cool things on there and that game is still alive and like popular 
spoiler right now same thing can happen to call of duty if they can like just leave one call of duty for two years and add stuff i feel like that's what I, what it's gonna get to at one point almost feels like it because like they're legit gonna run out of ideas un unless they start adding like cool small features that other games are already have you know like headquarters is a big plus it's a new thing to us some people were complaining that, oh dude they're just copying destiny or they're just copying some other game that like nobody probably even knows about and people just say that and we're like dude who cares they're trying to make call of duty better for you you're a freaking call of duty player why are you complaining about that like i never understand people who complain about that stuff if you're like a call of duty fan like a player why would you complain about them trying to make the game better for you like come on man it's like you have nothing better to do so yeah headquarters i feel like it's gonna be mainly focused on like like trading stuff uh they try to make it sound like it's gonna be a community thing where you can go freaking meet people like come on let's be honest like who cares about that stuff you know who wants to go there like meet new people online like freaking i don't know maybe some people are interested i honestly think that's kind of stupid but i mainly care about like being able to like trade stuff uh exchange things sell things you know for whatever the in-game currency is gonna be like keys and i don't know maybe something will be similar to like how the salvage system is in uh in infinite warfare i don't know man you know it's just all ideas like random ideas that i'm throwing out there maybe you guys know some information that i have not heard from like some other youtubers or you guys have just like your own ideas i know you guys are all smart people you guys always come up with some good ideas so i like reading comments honestly dude I, I love reading comments like especially the feedback like people who put time into put on a nice feedback and tell me explain me something i always appreciate those kind of comments they're real always interesting to read you know also i appreciate the comments that say nice video you know <laughs> who doesn't like those kind of comments but i'm just letting you guys know because i really enjoy reading comments unfortunately i don't get that many comments because I'm, obviously i'm not a big channel but i do love replying to comments and reading and seeing what you guys Guys think about stuff but what do you guys think about the whole headquarters thing are you guys happy that it's coming or are you guys like one of those people who like oh dude they copied whatever destiny or something i don't know man to me i personally don't care if they copy whoever they copy what they copy as long as the game is good i have new features new things that i'm really gonna enjoy make the game feel new like just the graphics of that game i already like boom you already got me on there like i did not even like play that game but the graphics and how the colorful the game is how it looks it's already good for me man if the warfare is so stale dude that's like like brown and black colors that's all it is man like dark colors colors i don't know what infinity war does that call of duty is like that i don't really understand that but world war 2 looks freaking amazing so excited headquarters i'm so excited for that thing too i don't know how it's gonna exactly gonna work beta is coming up and I'm pretty sure they said the headquarters is gonna be available in the beta. If I'm wrong, let me know because I think I heard something like that that the beta, I mean the headquarters is going to be available in the beta. So we'll see. I'll be I'm really excited. We're probably not gonna have that much uh abilities to things to do in there because we're probably gonna be limited, obviously, for the purpose of us having fun when the full game drops. Like what the hell is the purpose of what the hell is the reason of dropping the beta and basically giving us everything, man? That way you just get bored of it and you will not even wanna care about the full game because you like, I mean, you're not even going to be excited about the full game, you know, but it's coming up, man. This month is the beta, guys. I'm so excited, but unfortunately, the first weekend of the beta, I won't be able to play kind of sucks man but i'm gonna be having more fun like going camping and stuff with my friends and cousins so but the second week of the beta i'm definitely gonna sh stream for you guys i'm gonna have a like a i'm building my pc slowly like upgrading my processor and stuff like that so definitely gonna start streaming for my pc hopefully my pc doesn't freaking blow up and crash when i put like a new i processor in there whatever but hope pray for me guys hopefully my freaking pc doesn't blow up and break because then i won't be able to make videos for you guys until i get money and buy a new one but hopefully that does not happen okay knock on wood that is not gonna happen but i'm really excited by the time i come back from the camp probably the youtube is gonna be stacked with a whole bunch of videos of world war ii beta i'm gonna be seeing so many videos man and you guys are probably gonna know more about the game than i am but it's a gonna be exciting time new call of duty is always exciting but hope you enjoyed this video guys let me know what you guys think about this and the headquarters and peace out